In this video, we're going to look at how to find the estimated mean from a frequency table. So here we have a frequency table. The question says the table gives information about the times taken in seconds by 18 students to run a race. Work out an estimate for the mean time. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Firstly, let's talk about this word estimate. Why is it an estimate and not an exact mean? Well, that's because we are given intervals here. So for example, we have one student running the race between five and 10 seconds. We don't know exactly how long he took to run the race. We just know he took between five and 10 seconds. So we can only work out an estimate for the mean because we don't have the exact times. The way we do that is we take the midpoints of these ranges and we say that's how long they took. So for example, for this first person in this first interval, we say we estimate that he took or she took 7.5 seconds. That's the midpoint of this first range between five and 10. So what we're going to do is add a couple of columns to this table. So let's just draw a straight line and then turn that into a couple of columns. The first one is going to be midpoints. Okay, these are the midpoints of these intervals. So firstly, just write them down. We're, we're not calculating anything. We're just finding the value that's in the middle of each of these ranges. So what's the number between five and 10? Well, you can do an operation. You can do five plus 10 divided by two, or sometimes you can sort of see it without calculating it. And you might see that the midpoint there is 7.5. But again, if you're not comfortable with that, you can do the operation of the, the lower value plus the upper value divided by two and you'll get 7.5. And then go ahead and do the same thing for each of these other intervals. So 10 plus 15 divided by two, that's going to be 12.5. And then the midpoint of 15 and 20 is 17.5. And then the midpoint of 20 and 25 is 22.5. So that's our first column, just writing down the midpoints of these intervals. And again, what that's saying is we're going to estimate that's how long each person took. So this one person in this first interval, we're going to estimate that he took 7.5 seconds. Now we don't know that that's how long he took. He might've ran the race in six seconds or 10 seconds, um, but that's our best guess is the midpoint there. So that's why it's an estimate. And then the next column is going to be the, the midpoints multiplied by the number of people in that interval. Okay, so I write that as the midpoint times the frequency. What's the purpose of this? Well, it's to find the total amount of time taken by the people in that interval. Remember what a mean is? A mean is the total of all of the things divided by the number of things there are. So in this case, we want the total amount of time, total amount of time taken of time divided by the number of students, number of students. And this total amount of time that they all took all together is going to be this operation here, the total of this column. So let's go ahead and finish this column off. We're taking the midpoint 7.5 multiplied by the frequency. So the first one 7.5 times one is just 7.5. The next one, we have two students in this interval. We're going to estimate they took 12.5 seconds each. So we multiply two by 12.5 and that gives us a total of 25 seconds altogether for those two students. The next one, we have seven students in this interval, 15 to 20. So we're going to do seven times 17.5. Calculating that with a calculator, I get 122.5. And then the last one, we have eight students in this interval, 20 to 25, we're going to multiply eight by that, that midpoint, estimating that they each took 22.5 seconds. And if you do that calculation, you get 180. Okay, so these are all the times in each interval for all of the students in each interval. Then we go ahead and add all of those numbers up to get a total there. If you add them all up, again, use your calculator you get 335. So now let's go ahead and do our calculation to find the mean. So we've got the, the estimated total amount of time of 335. The number of students is 18. And sometimes they might not give you this number in the question and you'll have to total up this column as well. Yeah, that's just a small detail anyways. If you go ahead and do that operation, again on a calculator, this is a calculator 
uh, type question, then you get 18.6111 uh, one recurring. So, okay, so actually I could have written it as 6.1 recurring, okay? And then keep in mind the question says, give your answer correct to three significant figures. These are the first three significant figures and that six is going to stay as six. We don't need to round it up. So final answer for this question is 18.6 and that is how you're finding an estimate for the mean time or the mean from a frequency table.